everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I am back with a Zara versus Mango haul because I do a lot of like Zara hauls and Mango hauls and H&M hauls and that kind of thing. But I thought it'd be fun to like mix it up a bit and do like brand versus brand kind of thing. So I basically ordered a load of stuff from Mango and a load of stuff from Zara of like similar things. So we have like wool coats, jeans, blazers, jumpers and I'm going to be trying both of them on and basically comparing everything from like price to sizing to quality and fit everything like that so yeah I will link everything down below if you did want to like pick any of this stuff up and yeah let's get on with the video and also what I'm wearing at the moment in case anyone's wondering is just my like um what is this a top a top that's a great start Catherine um this is from Zara and then my jeans are ASOS so I'll link these two down below as well okay so first up I have these two camel coats so they're like a kind of lightweight like not lined wool camel coats I thought that was like the first staple piece I would do because I wear these so much in like autumn winter I had one from Mango last year um and I wore it so much I thought yes let's do these so shall I start with the Zara one first? Yeah. So this is the Zara one. As I said, it is, how much is it? Okay, it's 129.99. Got it in an extra small. And I also wrote down the fabric content for both of them because I wanted this to be very like in depth. Um, so this one is 54% wool, 39% polyester and 4% polyamide. So I'm gonna put it on now. Okay, so this is what the Zara coat looks like on. I've actually already got this in like a light beige colour and I absolutely love it. Um, I think the style of it's really nice. It's kind of just one of those like lightweight coats. Um, the length is definitely like quite long. I'm five foot nine and as you can see, it like almost comes down to my ankle. So if you are like shorter on the more petite side, that's definitely something to take into consideration because you might only be able to really wear it with like boots or something. Um, and it has the tie as well so in the winter you can kind of like tie it up to keep warm so that is what this looks like um, and then also size wise it definitely comes up quite oversized and this is the extra small and there's still like a lot of room inside it and everything however I do feel like that's good because it means as we do get into like winter you can chuck on like really kind of chunky knitwear underneath so yeah let me know what you think in the comments but i'm now going to chuck on the mango one okay so i've now got on the mango one so price wise this was 119 pounds so a little bit cheaper um and then fabric content it is 54 percent wool 39 percent polyester and 4 percent polyamide so both of them are very similar in like price and fabric but yeah so this is what it looks like so first opinion is I prefer the Zara one personally. Um, I feel like this one comes up a little bit shorter, so it might be really good if you are more on the petite side. Also, I'm really sorry about these like squeaky floorboards. Are you here? You're just gonna have to excuse that. There's nothing really I can do. They're just very squeaky floorboards. Um, again, it comes with the like tie, which you can kind of wrap around like that. So I got this in a size small, but there's also an extra small you can get. Um, so I'd say this one's more true to size. It still has like an oversized fit, but considering the other one was like in the size smaller than this, I feel like this one actually fits smaller than that one, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And of course, I'll link them both down below. Um, but for me, I personally prefer the Zara one. So obviously I had to do a pair of jeans. I feel like they're the most like staple item in anyone's wardrobe. So I picked up this pair of like mum jeans from Mango and then I already owned this pair from Zara but I know they still like do them online and everything. So yeah, I'm quickly gonna put on the Zara ones and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so this is the Zara pair on. Um, like I said, I already own these. Um, I've had them for about a year now and they're like a really great pair of jeans. Um, I think they're 25 99 which I think is such a good price. And I get these in a size 10, I think, which is what? A European size 
38 I think I don't know there'll be a size guide on the Zara website in case you do want to convert what a UK size 10 is into where like ever you're from and what sizes you use and they fit like perfectly there's no like gaping at the back around the waist I feel like they fit really nice kind of around the bum area and everything so yeah this is what these jeans look like you can't like get them in different leg lengths this is the only leg length that they do um which I'd say is kind of comparable to like a 32 leg length um, but yeah, they fit really well on me and obviously if you are like more petite you could just roll them up or like you should just cut off the bottom and have like a raw hem. Um, so yeah, really love these jeans but I'm going to try it on the mango ones now and see what they look like. Okay, so this is what the mango pair looks like on. Personally, I would describe these more of a skinny jean than like a mum jean. I feel like they fit like quite slim on the legs. Um, I got these in a size 10 which is a European size 38. Um, I think these are 100% cotton or 99% cotton um, and the Zara ones are like 100% cotton, I think. Yeah, um, I'd say they fit like stretchier than the Zara ones. The Zara ones are more of like a stiff denim, whereas these definitely have a stretch to them. Um, from the front, I really like them. Um, however, yeah there is massive like gaping going on at the like back of the jeans um so they definitely don't fit which is a bit annoying because i think they are like really nice jeans and i love like the shade of them and everything but yeah they just don't fit and i'm really sorry again about the creaking floor i know it's really annoying i'm not really sure what to do about it but yeah Okay, so next up is black blazers. Um, I feel like both Mango and Zara do the best blazers. They're always like my go-to if I'm on the lookout for one. So I thought I'd pick up just a simple black blazer from both. So we have the Zara run here, which I'm gonna start with. Um, so this was 49.99, which I think is a really good price for like Zara blazers. Um, Cause they sometimes go up for like 80, 90 quid, which I just think is a bit ridiculous. Um, so 50 pounds I feel like is a good amount um, and I got it in a size small however it does go down to an extra small so let me try it on okay so this is what the black blazer looks like on so it's a really good quality um, fully kind of lined on the inside it feels quite like heavy um, it has kind of like shoulder pads on the shoulders but like not too much um, size wise I feel like the small is a really good size does fit like slightly oversized but that's kind of like how I like my blazers personally um, but obviously you could size down if you wanted it a little bit more fitted I feel like this is one of the best blazers from Zara I've ever tried and it's such a good price as well so I'm gonna try it on the mango one now um, just to like compare the two but I'm not really sure how it's gonna beat this one because I feel like this is just a great blazer all round Okay, and now this is the mango one on. So I've just looked at the price. This one's $69.99. So what is that? Like £30 more expensive? No. £20? Yeah, £20 more expensive. It's a lot kind of thinner and lightweight than the Zara run. Um, and it just has this kind of like white piping on like the inside. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the sleeves are like very short on my arms. Um, and you can't actually like turn this down properly. Well, you can. But it's kind of like metal on the back so it doesn't look very good so yeah the sleeves are definitely a little bit too short for me but obviously i am tall so it might be different if you're like more petite um but yeah i feel like in general the other one is a much better blazer um this one does fit slightly kind of smaller i think i got this in the size small as well um so i would say just get your true size in this or if you want the oversized look get a size bigger um, but yeah, I feel like the Zara one just beats it in like every single point. It's a lot cheaper, um, arm length is better, it feels a lot thicker and like higher quality. Um, so yeah, on this account, the Zara one wins. So next up we have two trench coats. I feel like trench coats are such like staple items during the winter. This one is the Zara one and then this one is the mango one. So I'm gonna try it on the like Zara one first. So it is $79.99. So I feel like it's a really good price and I got it in a size small. So let me 
show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so fabric content wise is 60% cotton, 32% polyester and 8% nylon. And this is what the coat looks like on. So it's like a really simple kind of trench coat in like an almost darker brown colour. So this one is fully lined on the inside with this like kind of checkered almost plaid print um, pattern and then it's double breasted so it has these little tortoiseshell buttons um, and then obviously it also has like the belt that you can kind of tie up. Excuse the fact it's like really creased, I feel like trench coats just crease really easily, you need to almost like always have them hanged up and kind of steam it and everything. But yeah, I think this is really nice, um, quite like a simple kind of staple trench coat. Um, but I'm now going to try it on the mango one and see what that one looks like. Okay, so this is what the mango one looks like on. Um, so it's actually the same price, so they're both £79.99. Um, but this coat is made of 100% cotton, which is really good. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like on. Excuse the fact it's really creased. Like I said, trench coats like crease like mad. Um, so we're just going to have to excuse that fact. So compared to the Zara one, they both have like the double breasted tortoiseshell buttons. This one's in a slightly lighter colour, um, I would say, and I feel like it also comes down slightly longer. Inside, it's like not lined at all, which I think is a bit like annoying. And I feel like it looks quite cheap because you can see where like the pockets are sewn in and everything. So I wish they'd just like taken the time to line it. But yeah, I'm not sure which one I prefer. Obviously this one has the like belt as well so you can kind of tie it up um size wise i think i got this in a size small let me check so yeah i got it in the size small and i'd say it comes up true to size i could fit like a light knitwear kind of jumper underneath but nothing like too oversized or thick um but yeah i'm not really too sure what one i prefer um i think i prefer like the fit and the style of the other one but I prefer like the colour of this because if I get the other one, you can see like the comparison in the colour. This one's more of like a lighter kind of tan camel colour, whereas this one almost has like a khaki kind of hue to it. Um, so yeah, I feel like if I could mix them both into one coat, that would be my dream coat. Okay, so the next item I thought I would do some knitwear, so I picked up these two jumpers here. So this is the Zara one, this is the Mango one, very similar. This one's slightly darker, I'd say, this one's more of like a cream, whereas this one has like an oatmeal-y shade to it. But in general, very similar, very similar like neckline and everything like that. So let me chuck on the Zara one and see what it looks like. Okay, Zara one is on and oh my god, it is the itchiest thing I've ever had on. I cannot stand anything itchy, but this is like itchy to a hundred. It is the most uncomfortable thing ever. I'm not sure how anyone would wear this. Yeah, let me just look up the price quickly so I can tell you that, but honestly, I would not recommend getting this. Okay, so it's $29.99, it's made up of 44% acrylic, 19% polyester, 15% wool, 12% polyamide. I would not recommend that fabric contents because it makes one hell of an itchy jumper. So yeah, I'm gonna take this off now because who wants to be wearing an itchy jumper? Not me. Also, side note, it like molts on anything black. So yeah. Okay, so this is the mango one on and oh my god, so much better. Not itchy at all. This is definitely the winning jumper. Um, and I will actually say, Mango had so much like nice knitwear on their website. Um, I went on the Zara one and there was literally hardly anything. I'm not sure if then like knitwear has like properly came in yet. But when I went on Mango, there was like hundreds of just really nice knitwear. Um, so this jumper I've got on was um, $39.99. So a little bit more expensive than the Zara one. But I will pay that for a not itchy jumper. Um, and then it's made up of 54% acrylic and 43% polyamide. It could be a little bit like longer in the arm length for me, but obviously that's just because I have abnormally long arms. Um, and I think I got this in a size small, fits really well. I'd say it's true to size. Obviously, if you wanted it a bit more oversized, you could go like up to medium or a large. But yeah, this is it like tucked out so you can get an idea 
of the length but it's just like a really simple kind of jumper I then picked up just these two little like blazer dresses which I thought were super cute so both of them are like sleeveless um so they're more like kind of blazer waistcoat dresses yeah <laughs> um so yeah picked up these both in like a black both very similar so yeah let me chuck on this Zara one and then I'll show you what it looks like okay so this is what the blazer dress looks like on um I think it's super cute really good quality um dress wise it is 49.99 um and I got this in a size small it does go down to like an extra small though if you are like smaller than me or you want it more fitted um it is slightly short in the back but obviously that's because I'm tall um it will be longer if you're shorter you get the gist um, but overall, I think it's a really cute little dress. Okay, and then this is the mango one. So it fits slightly longer, as you can tell. Um, and this one, I think as well, is £49.99. Um, and I got it in a size small. Um, so very similar in like prices and sizes. Um, however, this one is that little bit longer. Um, I feel like I probably prefer the Zara one, even though it is a bit too short for me. Um, I just feel like it, I need an in-between. I feel like this one's a little bit too long, um, whereas the Zara one's a little bit too short. If I could have like a mix of them both, then that would be like my perfect little blazer dress. Um, but yeah, I would say Zara one, probably the winner here. Um, but let me know if you think differently. That is like the back again. So it is quite a lot longer. Um, but yeah, they're both nice dresses. I'll link them both down below in case you're on the hunt for one. Um, Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and seeing everything I like picked up from both websites. Please do let me know like what items are your favourite. Um, and do let me know if you want me to do this with any other shops. Um, like I could do it with like Misguided and PLT or I'm not sure like what other shops there are. Let me know, give me some ideas down below. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!